Here's problem 3020 dealing with Ampere's law. One long wire carries a current of 30 amps along the entire x-axis. A second long wire carries a current of 40 amps perpendicular to the xy plane and passes through the point 0, 4, 0. What is the magnitude of the resulting magnetic field at the point y equal 2 on the y-axis? Alright, so let's see what's going on here. We have one wire that's going in the positive x direction. Let's call that I1 with a current of 30 amps. And we have another wire located at y equal 4. And that is um, passing through the point perpendicular to the xy plane. So let's just make it coming out of that plane. And that current, let's call it I2, is equal to 40 amps. We want to find the magnetic field at a point P, which is located at Y equal 2. All right, our approach here is to look at the individual contributions of each wire, find the mag magnetic fields due to each wire, and then add those contributions together vectorially. In other words, we're going to employ the principle of superposition. Now if I look at the first wire with the current going in the x direction, if I were to apply the right hand rule pointing my thumb in the direction of that current, my fingers would curl in the direction of the magnetic field. So the magnetic field is curling around in this direction like this. So in particular, due to that wire, there will be a magnetic field at point P that is coming out of the page. So my magnetic field B1 is coming out of the page at point P. Now if I look at I2, using the right hand rule on it, with the current coming out of the page as such, pointing my thumb in the positive Z direction with the current, my fingers would curl counterclockwise as we're looking at it and hence the magnetic field will be going counterclockwise like this. And in particular at point P, it will be tangent to that point. And so B2 will be going in the positive x direction as so. So really we're going to have, uh, if we took a top view of all this, we'll end up with a B2 that's going in the positive x direction and then we have a uh, B1 that's going out of the page in a positive Z direction and they'll be perpendicular to each other. So our resultant magnetic field will be the vector sum of these two. Okay, let's find the magnitude of these two magnetic fields first. Well, B1 according to Ampere's law will be mu naught I1 over 2 pi R1. And that's going to be equal to 4 pi times 10 to the minus 7 times I1, which is 30 amps, over 2 pi. Now the distance P is from I1 is 2 meters because it's located at Y equal 2. So we're going to have 2 there. So we're going to have a 4 pi over a 4 pi. And we'll have 30 times 10 to the minus 7. So that's going to be equal to 3 times 10 to the minus 6 Tesla. And it will be directed, as we said, out of the page. All right. Magnetic field 2 is going to be mu naught I2 over 2 pi R2 for a long, thin wire. And that's going to be 4 pi times 10 to the minus 7 for mu naught times 40 amps over 2 pi and the distance we are from that wire is also 2 meters so we're going to have a, a 4 pi cancel with a 4 pi and so this is equal to 4 times 10 to the minus 6 tesla and it's to the right so we have these two magnetic fields they're perpendicular to each other our net magnetic field by the Pythagorean theorem 
is going to be um, 3 squared plus 4 squared square root times 10 to the minus 6. So that will give us 5 times 10 to the minus 6 Tesla at this angle coming out of the um, uh, xz plane. It's in the xz plane like this. We could figure out what that is, but that's for another problem maybe. And so that would be uh, 5 micro Tesla. So the magnitude of our magnetic field at point P is 5 micro Tesla.